I just got a glimpse down there. There is gold freaking everywhere. I'm Tyler and welcome back to my channel. On today's video we have a special guest on site, Dan Hurd from YouTube's one and only Dan Hurd Prospecting. This guy is one of the OG prospect creators on YouTube out there with almost 1 million subscribers. It is a real pleasure to have him here on site. Before I start to dig some pay it is time to give the machine or a good grease job. Dan showed up for the day, I had a chance to get everything on site ready. I stockpiled around 250 yards with the John Deere 450 excavator. This machine is a beast. Sure it can suck back 600 liters of diesel in a day, but currently with me being the only person on site this year, it only runs 1-2 to two hours a day. With everything ready to fire up, it's time to go start the pump up and get the water flowing. After we let everything warm up for a little bit, it's time to start washing some dirt. As you can see from the video so far, the mine is located high above the valley bottom. This particular site is 150 feet higher than the creek 
and 600 feet from any waterway. It can be a struggle to maintain enough water throughout the year, but we make do. The material we process is from a glacial lateral moraine. Back thousands of years ago, the tertiary channels that blanketed the valley bottom were squished up the valley sides and deposited up high. The glacier took the softer rocks and ground them into sand, leaving the harder, rounder river rock and scattered the old pay streaks throughout the material in the valley. The gold is usually consistent, but does have spots of larger values in the pay. The material we are running today is a low grade pocket, but it still pays the bills. Running a mine site by yourself gets very tiring. Having to load the trommel, do fine tailings, coarse tailings, and jumping from excavator to excavator gives me a workout. Now some of you may think I wash out gold while I run around, I assure you I don't. I have tested multiple times both through panning and rerunning my finds in a more controlled environment through a smaller test plant. I have very minimal loss the way I have my sluice box set up. After running around 250 yards through the trommel, it's time to shut down and do a quick little clean out of the top box of the sluice. Black sands, basically. It's yeah, not exactly. Garbage. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's iron sands rusting. Yep. Yeah. Because you can really see it right there. That it's just yeah, it's red. Yeah. This being my second to last run of the year, I will only be doing a hydraulic riffle and mid box spray out. After spraying all the material to one side, I vacuum it into a bucket and it is ready to process. The gold hog mats I use make it super easy to do a clean out every day. I only wash out the bottom expanded and moss once every two weeks. For the final clean out, I use a homemade shaker deck system I built from scratch. As the material is fed into the unit, it classifies 2mm minus through a Devon Gold Vortex matting. Anything larger falls into the nugget sluice. When making a cleanup system, a guy has to think of all the ways to make it quick and least labor intensive as possible. The bucket lift and holding system is one of the best modifications I have added.
With all the concentrate ran, the box is lit up with gold. After I clean it out, it's time to put it in the 24 inch gold wheel to remove all the remaining non-magnetics. The gold comes out almost 100% clean and can be put on the scale after all the water is burnt off and dried. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see more in my videos, please let me know in the comments section below. 